Hey, be hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. Well, the Father wants me to read these four scriptures to you to just remind you of his reconciliation of his creation. God wants to reconcile all things back to himself because when the Father made his creation, his intention was for his work to live forever. Death came in because of our sins, but if you read from Genesis and if you read through the Bible, you'll know that our Father who art in heaven, he created his creation to live forever, even Satan, until he rebelled against him, so death came in. So I just want to tell you, God makes you strong when you're weak, and he gives power unto the weak. And I know sometimes when bad things happen to us, we we tend to think God is forsaking us. No, that is the time God is carrying us to teach us how to overcome our battles, to put to to give us power when we're weak, to learn how to go from weakness to strength, to learn how to go from weakness to power. So God has to make you weak so you could see his great power work in you. So so there's no mistakes in your life. The good that comes to you or the bad that comes to you because you learn from both experiences. Even in bad situations, you learn how to become from more wiser. You learn how to become more stronger. You learn how to become more powerful. You, you, you learn with experience. So even your bad experience teaches you something. You learn from good experiences. Good people and bad people, we both teach each other something. You can learn from all situations, but in all things, God is there with you to give you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and the strength to overcome it so you can always exalt him and know that the power and the strength that delivered you is from God. The salvation is from God. So I'm just going to read these. I think it's about four. Wait, one, two, three, four. Four scriptures of reconciliation that God wants me to read to you and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Now, 2 Corinthians 5 and 18. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by, you know, I say his right name, Emmanuel Christ, and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5 and 19. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting their trespasses onto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So the word we should be speaking is the word of reconciliation because God wants to reconcile all his creation to himself. That is why they need to repent because he has no delight in death, but that all men should turn from their wicked ways and repent so they can be reconciled unto him. Now, Hebrews 2 and 17, where for? In all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be merciful and faithful, high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. So yes, Christ had to come to die to reconcile you of your sins so you can live forever with God. That is how much God loves you. He does not want his creation to die. Yes, you're a sinner, and he knows that. Repent and confess your sins. The truth will make you free. A lot of people have not even been set free from their sins. It's because they won't confess them. The Bible tells you the truth will set you free. You can't, you can't fight against the truth because God is the God of truth. The word in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Your words are powerful. God is most powerful, and he doesn't lie. God is most powerful and he speaks the truth. The only way that you're going to be set free is if you confess your sins and you tell the truth. A lot of people are hiding secret sins and it's blocking their prosperity. Because if you hide your sins, you won't prosper. You have to confess and forsake them. It says, confess your faults one to another. Even people are supposed to learn from your experiences. That's why you're supposed to testify. We're all supposed to teach each other. You know how they say each one teach one? Well, even in so, you can be taught from other people's experiences to learn how not to do it or to learn how they got out of it. 
So now, Daniel 9 and 24, this was also the same scripture he gave me before with the 12 precepts to read. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon the, thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. So God wants to reconcile his creation back to him. So they need to repent and confess their sins because God is a God of truth and the truth will make them free. Another thing, when you don't confess your sins, um, the ch spiritual chains, you're in spiritual bondage because you're in spiritual prison because you, you're not speaking the truth to be set free. F truth will set you free. And I just want you to know that truth is very important the stability of these times will be knowledge and wisdom you better have the knowledge and wisdom to know that truth will sustain you truth is wisdom truth is knowledge truth is clarity i hope you have a great day may god bless you and open up your knowledge wisdom and understanding and fill you with the spirit of might bravery fearlessness and providence. Have a blessed day.